In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how to connect rhythmic data when trading with Take Profit Trader. But first, I want to remind you guys, at least at the time of recording this video, Take Profit Traders having 30% off all their evaluation and accounts. And the best part yet, no activation fee. Take advantage of this offer. Use the link in the description box down below. It'll bring it to a page like this. You can simply left click where it says epitome, copies it to your clipboard and be ready to use at checkout. Or you can simply type in promo code epitome when you go to check out. Now we come down here and we look at some of these accounts. Once you decide which account you want to go ahead and purchase, what is then going to ask you is pick your data plan. Now, ever since rhythmic had ghost order issues with apex many, many, many months ago, maybe even a year ago. Now I switched over all of my accounts to CQG data. However, for this video, I actually have a rhythmic account with take profit trader. And I got to tell you guys, it is a little bit different. I don't know if it's just the way that Take Profit Trader does it or if Rhythmic has had some changes. And if you do decide to go with the Rhythmic data feed, you're going to want to make sure to watch to the end because there is a problem if you don't do this one thing correctly. Now, once you once you already signed up with your account and you selected Rhythmic, now you can either go to the back end to get your username or password, or you can wait till you receive an email like this. Now, in this email, I've went ahead and shaded out where the login and password information is, but you'll see where those two lines are. That's where the information is needed. Now, once we get that information, you also want to come right up here to the top where it says knowledge base, click on that. Then we come right here where it says connection instructions, click on that. Then where it says Ninja trader with rhythmic data, simply click right there. Then click where it says this article. Now we want to scroll down to the bottom where it says download our trader pro you're going to want to go there you want to go ahead and select download so you can go ahead and download rhythmic our trader pro now when you select that link it's going to bring you to a page just like this and we can go ahead and select where it says download our trader pro now once you go ahead and select the our trader pro icon from your desktop it'll bring you to a page just like this now pay, pay very very close attention Every prop firm is a little bit different when it comes to rhythmic data. Now for the user ID, we want to use that same user ID that we saw in the email. The password also wants to be that password they gave us in the email where it says system. We want to go ahead and select rhythmic paper trading. Then for the gateway, if you're in the US, you want to use the Chicago area as that's going to be the one closest to the CME. Then at the bottom, make sure you have where it says market data on, make sure that's selected on. Re-enter your username, re-enter the password under systems. Make sure you select rhythmic paper trading. And then for the gateway, have it where it says Chicago area. Now, once you have all that information put in something you want to do to save steps in the future, right up here near the top where it says, remember me, go ahead and select that. So each time you log into our trader pro, you no longer have to go ahead and re-enter that information each and every time. Now, now, once we go ahead and we log in, you'll see this agreement. You need to go ahead and select the first one real quick. And once you click on that, just simply click on it. And then you're going to scroll down to the bottom and you're going to the agree button will light up. You're going to select. I agree. And then once you select, I agree, then you need to come down to the second one, click on that. And you need to go ahead and select professional or non-professional. A majority of people are going to be non-professional. Go ahead and select that. Then we can go ahead and hit submit. Now, once we do that, we want to click the close button and then we're going to want to go back over to our trader pro and go ahead and log in. So now once we logged back into our trader pro after already filling out those forms, we, this is what your dashboard, this is what is probably going to look like. like. Huh? How do I do anything from this screen right here? Well, you want to come right over here to where it says trader dashboard, select that. And that's going to bring you this window right here. Now let's talk about how to set up a data connection inside of the Ninja Trader 8 platform. For that, you wanna come right up here to where it says connections. And if you do not see where it says configure right here, then you need to come right over here to where it says tools. Then you need to go down to settings, which used to be called options. So if you're using a previous version, it's gonna be called options. Then right up here where it says multi-provider, which is under the general tab, make sure it is checked. If it's not checked, you're not gonna see that configure button right over here inside of the connections tab. Now you want to go ahead and click on configure. Then you want to select where it says, where it says rhythmic for Ninja trader brokerage, go ahead and double tap on that. Now I've already set this up. So I'm actually going to click where I named it. 
So one of the things you want to do where it says connection name, it's going to say rhythmic or whatever. I just go ahead and backspace that out, typed in TPT. Then where it said username and password, that's going to be the same exact username and password that we got in the email and the same username and password that you saw on the back end. Then from there where it says systems, you need to go ahead and select rhythmic paper trading. Now, if I go ahead and click OK. All right. So now let's go ahead and go to take profit trader that connection tab we just made and uh oh, we get an error message. You have been logged out because another program has logged in with your credentials and would cause your session count to be exceeded. Now, so how am I gonna go ahead and trade if that takes place? Now, something I did find out when I was setting up this data connection, they now have it where you do not have to have our trader up. Then if we come over and look at a chart, we can see the bid and ask is moving over here on the NASDAQ and I have not placed a trade. So how do we go ahead and monitor our drawdown? If we cannot be connected to our trader pro and ninja trader at the same time. How do we solve that problem? Well, to find that answer, you're going to want to make sure to watch this next video right here. And if you're watching this video on Friday, that next video will be live come Saturday morning.